Sadly, a lot of 3D printed products are functional, but pretty ugly if you ask me. And so in this video, I wanted to kind of share how I go about designing better looking products for 3D printing and what my process is and what my thoughts are, because I think sometimes really small changes can get you to a point where things look a lot better. I want to design a holder for my electric toothbrush and especially the base of it. I've seen similar ideas for something like this and First of all, there's none specifically for the one that I need, so I have to design something new, but also having seen the ones that are already online, I think their design is lackluster at best. So then I wanted to kind of see how can I do something that works for me, but also make it beautiful and really put some thought into that because I think that long term, there's, this is something that we really need to put more thought into and you know get a little better as a community. By that, I don't mean all 3D printed things are ugly. I'm just saying that many people like me don't have a background in design. And so we don't know what good design is and don't really pay attention to it. And you can see that in a lot of models that are uploaded. Also, on the other hand, there are some people that really know what is functional, but also good looking. And it makes a hell of a difference. It's so much nicer to use. So while I have a general idea of what I want to design and what it should work like or what the functionality should be, I still have to figure out how to make it look nice. And honestly, first of all, my main point here is Pinterest. And sometimes it's just, I think that small little tweak that really makes the difference. Rounding things off a little more or not and giving the whole thing texture that can really put this from a blank 3D printed product to something that's actually kind of beautiful. So for now, I'll just go searching. So after a bit of research, I really like this design. I think this type of design with a little bit of ridges is a really cool since it's still very minimalist, but it gives the whole thing a little bit of texture. You know, you have a little bit of light and shadows. And yeah, I think that would really give the whole thing a lot more dimension and make it look more premium. So I'm just gonna run with this for now and then I'm just gonna basically design everything around it and then apply this in the end to kind of see if it gives this extra bit of visual pop and just premium quality feel. So here with me, I have the dock of my toothbrush and then this is just a power adapter and power cable. And what I'm firstly gonna do is just kind of take the measurements of this and kind of recreate them in Fusion so I know what to build around and model around. The big problem with this one is that I could probably just fully enclose it and make it look a lot nicer. But this one has a display in front, which is actually pretty nice since it shows you the time you've been brushing your teeth for, which I think is super nice. So I have to keep the whole front open. Yeah, I think it's a design constraint, but we'll work around that and then see how good can we get with this. So now I've recreated kind of the things that I want to build around. So the charging base and the charger itself. And now it's kind of to organize it in a way that everything fits together and then build the product or the little design around it. There was a lot to design. Firstly, I designed the mold for the charging base and then made sure the charger fit beneath it. Also, I had to build a little mechanism to screw it all together. And lastly, I added this texture, which inspired me in the beginning. Now everything is ready for the first test print. So I'll just send this to the printer and we'll see how close we get. What are all the problems that I'm still gonna have to solve? The first prototype is just completed. And don't worry, I'm not planning this to be red. I just had some red filament laying around. And a lot of the stuff fits really well. First of all, all the measurements here, it fits really snug, which is really nice because that also means there's no play here, which is gonna lead to wobble. So I'm really happy about that. Um, here, there's still a little bit of a hole and also this whole end cap kind of sucks because I wanted to kind of insert into the whole thing, but that's an easy fix. One thing that I realized is I said I wanted to be able to see the display of this in the front and I seem to have completely forgotten about that. So now I need to figure something out for that. 
My updates here were kind of easy. I cut out some of the front so I can see the display and also modified the back part to be inset because that looks a lot better. So right now I'm getting the third prototype of the printer and hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the one. This model definitely does come with a bunch of supports that you have to take off after printing, but they all come off really easily. Everything went together kind of okay, but sadly this is not the last version yet. The main thing is that this adapter thingy for the power plug that I made doesn't fit into the actual power outlet. Um, this is just there to stabilize it because this is quite long and heavy, so it kind of drags forward and tilts. So this is to stabilize that, but yeah, I just don't have the measurements dialed in perfectly yet. This little adapter plate in the back that I designed turned out to be pretty challenging. Firstly, because I had to get the tolerances just right so it would fit snugly and give a lot of support but not so snug that it would get actually stuck in the power outlet. The second problem was that I'm an idiot and I forgot to design this little part here. So I made like five prototypes, changing all kinds of things till I realized that this was the actual problem. So finally, after 10 prototypes, I got this one working perfectly. It's really nice to have this little part separately because I could just reprint that little part and didn't have to reprint everything. And also if other people that use other power outlets in their country, they can just modify this plate and still use the overall design for their needs. So after a lot of back and forth, this is the final version and I'm really happy with this. The thing that took the longest was getting this back plate here to sit perfectly so the whole thing doesn't sag. But now that this is ready, yeah, I can just tested and I'm overall really happy. I like the design. I'll make a second design version and I would love your feedback, which one you like better, which one you think is better looking. I think design-wise, the thing that's holding this back is that it is so long, but I couldn't really do anything about that since the cable at the back of the charging base sticks out really far and I didn't want to modify the charging base just so it could be used by everybody. So I know that th this isn't suboptimal, but I just took this as a design constraint to make it easy for other people to use this. Um, so all in all, I'm really happy how this turned out. What do you think about the design and the way that I approached it? How do you design stuff usually? And just in general, I think 3D printing should be beautiful and they should be really nice objects that you wanna see. And it's really easy, just with a little bit of tweaks here and there to make that possible. And I think it really makes a difference for this to become real products where somebody also thought about that part. And if you're interested in watching more videos, you should check out this video where I tried to learn Fusion 360 in 30 days. And it's been a really cool journey and I'm so happy to be able to design all of this stuff. So definitely check that out and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.